Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD and the top four can you Ubuntu do this questions that a new user probably is going to ask. So you finally want to go into the Linux world, but you're debating whether or not can you Ubuntu actually replace my Windows operating system. Now, the number one question uh, from my top four is can you Ubuntu replace Windows? And the answer for that is yes. Ubuntu can be installed on just about any computer com capable of running Microsoft Windows, but at the end, it really depends on your need if you want to go that route. For businesses, if you work depends on software such as Microsoft Word, Adobe Curated Suite, you can find it easier to just stick with Windows. Many of us, like myself, can use Ubuntu as a full-time operating system because it offers a safe, dependable desktop experience that can run on and support a wide range of hardware. And number two in my list, can Ubuntu run .exe files, okay? And the answer for that is yes, guys, but not out of the box. And it's not guaranteed it's gonna work well. This is because software that's distributed in an .exe form are meant for Windows environment. Software installers made for Ubuntu tend to come with a DEB extension, but Linux is versatile. Using a third-party application like Wine, you can actually run EXE applications natively within a Linux environment. It won't work quite as well as they do with Windows, nor look as pretty, but it will work well enough to use as a daily basis. Now, there are older versions of Windows applications that work flawlessly and you can actually check the compatibility database here at the Wine website. And top number three is can Ubuntu get viruses? Well, theoretically yes, but in reality no. And the reason for this is that Linux distributions are built in a way that makes it incredibly hard for viruses, malware, and rootkits to be installed. Most applications on a Linux operating system run as a regular user with no special administrative privileges, which is required for a virus to access critical parts of the operating system. The reason for this is because all software sources are centralized and installed from the Ubuntu Software Center. And top number four is can Ubuntu play games? And this is a big yes, guys. You have traditional games like 2D Chess, Word Games, and Minesweeper, if you head over to the Ubuntu Software Center and search for games, you find something there. Now, for us serious gamers, you might want to grab Stream for Linux. This is where you can find some of the latest and greatest games available for download. And that's it, guys. Those are my top four. Can Ubuntu do this? If you have any other questions, leave it at the bottom of the comment sections. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.